Hi again YouTubers, um, it's the Irish Scrapper back with another tutorial except this isn't the type of tutorial that you'd be expecting to see on the Irish Scrapper. Um, a lady called Mama Lillis gave me a recipe during the week uh, for bread but it's not your typical bread and I'm so excited about this bread I decided I'd have to share it with you all. Um, it's two simple ingredients and the first ingredient is 500 mils of yogurt of your choice, low fat or full fat, whatever you want. And you simply tip that into your, your bowl. Get every bit of it out. And this bread is so healthy, very good for anybody with cholesterol. It's, it's like eating your breakfast really. And it has the consistency of bread and the look of bread. So when you've emptied out the yogurt, you fill it, you fill the same pot with porridge oats. Right to the top. One. And the second one. And all you add to that is a pinch of salt. Little pinch of salt and one teaspoonful of bread soda and put the bread soda into your hand and make sure there's no lumps and just spread it around like that and then you simply take a wooden spoon and mix the whole lot together it's as simple as that. Couldn't be easier. My three-year-old grandchild could make this. And you'd be wondering, God, how would that look like bread at all? Wait till you see it. You put it into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. And Mama Lilla says, make sure you have a very well-greased tin to put it into. And a mind trying to line it. She tried lining it, and it was a bit of a disaster. She couldn't get the, the paper to come away from the bread. So literally a well buttered tin and don't be tempted to plonk it all in on top of the tin. She said half the trick is putting it in spoonful by spoonful. So give it a good mix. Now another thing she said, and she's right because I've tried it, was that you can add anything you like to this mix. So you can add um, mashed up bananas, uh, cranberries. What I did with the last one I made was I put some mixed seeds and nuts into it and it was absolutely gorgeous. So it's into a pound tin you put it. Now I think I have that well mixed. So literally then, spoonful by spoonful into the tin. Well, Mama Lillis, I can thank you for this anyway because I, I'll tell you, I won't eat anything else on this from now on. And they say porridge is a superfood, it slow, slowly releases its energy and what have you. There we go. That couldn't have taken more than three or four minutes to put together. So flatten it all into your tin. Like that. Sorry for the noise. Okay, I'll just wipe off the sticky. And I have my, my oven here preheated at 180 degrees. And it's very important, she said, to preheat the oven. So I have that preheating for the last maybe 10 minutes. And I'm just going to put it in here. And we'll be back in 45 minutes and you can see that it doesn't resemble porridge and yogurt whatsoever. Okay, the bread is in the oven and I set about doing my tidying up. And then I thought, Maybe I can do something with the yogurt carton um, to recycle it. So I had some of this. It's like, it's like I suppose, sticky back fabric on a roll. It's by Ducrafts. 
and I picked it up at 50% off. So the roll of it cost me um, about 2.75, and it says there's oh, it doesn't say how many meters are on it, but anyway, what I did was I took another yogurt carton and I opened it up to make a, a template, and I've drawn around the yogurt carton here. So I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to stick it on this and there's a see-through lid so it'll make a nice little addition to my craft room outside i can keep buttons or something like that in it so we'll see how it turns out and it's it's great if you can make something out of nothing and it's good for the environment as well to recycle and I suppose every time I make the bread now, I can make matching pots for my craft room. Plus, I'm sure they'd make lovely um, containers to put gifts into. If you could roll up a scarf or a tie or something, if you embellish these. So they'd be like little craft boxes or gift boxes rather. Whoops. And this is a sticky back, so let's see. Am I actually getting the sticky? There we go. So what way would that go now? Would that be the that be the top? Bear with me now because I haven't done this before. Okay, now it's going to need trimming here and I haven't got my crafting scissors because I'm actually in my kitchen and not my craft room. No, I'm going to wait and do it with a craft scissors. And will the lid still go on it? Yes, it will. So whatever you put in, you'll be able to see through it. Uh, give me a minute, I'll go get my craft scissors and I'll finish it off and we'll so see I what I've got my craft scissors. It's so much easier to do things when you have the, the right tools. Actually, I'll go this way and I can see what I'm doing. That's nice and neat. And then I'm going to just take a piece of ribbon and put it around the top. And it'll neaten it off where I mightn't have been so accurate with the cutting. So this is... Um, Dove craft glue. Let's put a tiny little amount of that all the way around. This is actually a great glue. glue. And I'm going to put a little bit down here where the, the seam. There we go. This would be a lovely thing to do with children actually in schools have a great sense of satisfaction making something from recycling because they're always trying to get the green flags and what have you. So there we go. And I'll use it for keeping. Well, obviously, I'm just transferring from one container to the other. But at least you can look in through the, the lid and you can see what's inside your containers. Like that. And I might just put some nice die cut flowers on it to make it a bit fancier. Anyway, 
It's a little recycle project while we're waiting for the bread to be finished. Be back shortly and show okay. you what the bread looks the like. The loaf has been in the oven for 45 minutes. I've just taken it out. So I'm just going to turn it upside down and allow it to cool. And you can see it comes out very easy from the well greased tin. Good tip, Mama Lillis. And, um, well, like I have one that I made yesterday. There's a little piece of it left. Now this one I, I put um, sunflower seeds and different types of seed into it. It really has the consistency of bread. It's not a bit doughy. You simply have to try this out and get back and let me know what you think of it. This is the Irish Crapper saying, join me again real soon for another tutorial.